Hey there, we are looking at some interesting short forms. So I came across one such short form, SOS. Uh, we use this short form in our lives. Uh, hope, actually, we should hope that uh, we don't have to use it uh, uh, in our lives because SOS means save our souls. This is an emergency message. It is used in the emergency situations like uh, if, if the ship, for example, is uh, likely to sink, then the captain might send the SOS message. So seeking out for help as a desperate uh, last minute effort, uh, attempt to seek out help. That's a SOS message. That is when you send the SOS message. Now in medicine, I found there are two uh, meanings to SOS. One is uh, SOS is a Latin Sci Opus Sit. It means as and when required. So when do you write it? Uh, generally, SOS is written on the uh, prescription pad. When you write a medicine to the patient, you write it the tablet to be taken twice a day or thrice a day or four times a day or you write it as one tablet SOS. That SOS means as and when required. So there is no fixed dosage to that tablet. You take it as and when required. One tablet SOS. That's the meaning of SOS in medicine. There's another meaning and that is sons of seven. What does that mean? What is this seven business? Uh, look, many hormones have their receptors in the cell membrane of the target cell. Those receptors are called as G protein coupled receptors because those receptors are coupled with the G protein in the membrane. What is so special about this receptor? That's the point. The receptor spans the membrane seven times. It has got seven transmembrane segments and it's like a snake. Uh, so it is also called as a serpentine receptor. Now when the hormone comes and binds to the receptor, there are certain second messengers generated inside the cell like cyclic AMP, like cyclic GMP. These are called as sons of seven. The seven being seven transmembrane segments of the receptor uh, from which these products have been generated inside the target cell. So that's SOS.